Gordon always pulls the big express. He was proud to be the only engine strong enough to do so. It was full of important people, like the fat controller, and Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. In a minute, Gordon would see the tunnel where Henry is bricked up and lonely. Oh dear, why did I worry about rain spoiling my lovely green paint? Will the fat controller ever forgive me and let me out again? Gordon was almost there when... And there was Gordon going slower and slower in a cloud of steam. What has happened to me? I feel so weak. You've burst your safety valve. You can't pull the train anymore. Oh dear. We were going so nicely too. And look, there's Henry laughing at me. <laughs> I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Sent for another engine at once. While the guard went to find one, they uncoupled Gordon, who had enough puff to sling down the siding out of the way. Edward was the only engine left. <laughs> That's no use. Edward can't pull the train. <laughs> I told you so. Why not let Henry try it? Hmm... Yes, I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? Oh, yes, please. When Henry got up steam, he popped up. He was dirty and covered with cobwebs. Ooh, I'm stiffed, I'm stiffed. Have a run to ease your joints and find a turntable. When Henry came back, he felt much better. Then they coupled him up. I'm ready. So am I. Pull hard, we'll do it. Pull hard, we'll do it. They never stopped until they came to the station at the end of the line. The passengers all thanked the engines, and the fat controller promised Henry a new coat of paint. On their way home, Edward and Henry helped Gordon back to the ships. All three engines are now great friends. Henry doesn't mind the rain now. He knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is to not run in tunnels, but to rub him down when the day's works are over.